the hospital um, last plus 12 last year then i just took a drop for isa and cmi and i have clear cmi entrance exam and i have been called for interview so now i'm here okay so have you written j advanced also this year no 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 i haven't given any j e or w g or okay. any kind of engineering test so you're very much clear about that you have to write j uh, sorry this isi you have to go to isi or CIO, no? yeah yeah that's good so what are the topics that are your favorite in maths i like polynomial a lot okay and what else uh in calculus, I like sequence and series, uh, graph drawing functions. Mm -hmm. uh, sequence and series, does that come in uh, calculus? Yeah. Sequence means convergent, divergent. Okay. 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 Polynomial, you said. So there is one simple question on polynomial that. You might have seen such questions that there is a polynomial p with the uh, property that p of 1 by x into p of x is equal to p of x plus p of 1 by x okay now you have to tell me what are the possible polynomials now the possible polynomials px hmm. please do this so x power n plus one is a solution. Now I'm trying to find the other ones. Mm, can you repeat what you said? X power n plus one. This is one solution, and I'm trying to find the other ones. I think the alternate sign will happen. Now I need to check. These are the solution solutions. Will I tell how I started the solution? Yeah, yeah, you can tell me. So in general, I'm assuming a polynomial p x, which is a n x bar n plus a n minus one x bar n minus one all the way till a naught. The leading coefficient is not equal to zero. So whatever given here, I'm just putting the value. So I will get that uh, multiplying both the terms will be equal to the sum of this. So this is true for all values of x. So this is an identity. So the leading coefficient here in the right hand side is a n. On the left hand side. This is a naught into a n. So those are equal. Now a n is not equal to zero. So we can cancel out that from the both side. We will get a naught equal to zero. And in the right hand side, there are also terms which are of the form x power minus one, x power minus two, all the way till x power minus n. But in the left hand side, there isn't any kind of term. So all that coefficient need to be zero. That means a n minus one to a one all are need to be zero so in this way i found out one solution and now i'm trying to find the alternative case i mean that plus minus x bar and plus minus one i need to check that so set the solution or not okay fine okay fine uh i will just share with you one uh, direct method for this maybe that will make this very easy please see uh px minus one into p of one by x minus one can be written as equal to one from direct factorization of this thing. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. If Px is polynomial, Px minus one will be polynomial. And if Qx and Q of one by x both, Qx is a polynomial and uh, Q of one by x is obtained by putting one by x in place of x and they becomes equal to one. So I think, can we conclude that Qx will be something like x power n only, or maybe plus minus? Yeah, sure. Hello? Yeah. Okay. Now tell me one thing, as you said, uh, uh, that uh, convergence, divergence. So you know that uh, <laughs> if you write a GP, 1, 1 by 2, 1 by 4, and so on, OK, the sum is always convergent. Sum is a fine. Sum is a convergent, yes. But if I write an HP like one, one by two, one by three, one by four, does it also converge? The sum. Yes, sum. No, this will not converge. Why? Hello, we try. 
so i have two method uh, mm -hmm. one is i'm just writing one plus half plus one third and so on so i'm clubbing that one third and one fourth and writing it as greater equals to one fourth plus one fourth and till one fifth to one eight i'm writing it as greater equals to uh four into one by eight and in this way this will go on so whatever i'm getting if i talk that uh, sum is sn up to n terms if i write down s of 2 power n that is nothing but greater equals to 1 plus half plus n minus 1 by 2 so if n tends to infinity the lower sequence lower series is not convergent so something greater than this will not converge so this is my idea okay what is the other idea uh, that is uh, summation of 1 by n i think i will not tell this in interview that summation of 1 by a 1 by n n running from let's say summation of 1 by k k running from 1 to a minus l n n this is a convergent sequence so if i can show this so at this is a convergent sequence let's say this will convert some value c that will imply that summation of 1 by k is converts to c plus l n n and ln n intends to infinity this is not a convergent so the whole thing summation of one by k will diverge also. i think that is correct what you can do you can just uh, write uh, you can just plot the graph like this one one by two one by three and so on okay now we have to add all these heights i think that is what we are supposed to do okay and this means that i am actually finding the area of these rectangles which i am just making the sum of this series will be exactly equal to the areas of all these rectangles is, is that okay okay so now we can now draw we can join these points with uh, we can join these points uh, assuming the graph to be y is equal to 1 upon x okay okay now my required area will be greater than the area of this graph of 1 by x from 1 to n whatever yeah. okay so the sum is bigger than 0 uh, 1 to n ln x sorry 1 upon x that is dx so you can write that it is just a log of n ln n so Sn will be always greater than ln n. And ln n, as we know, it is diverging. So this sum will also be diverging. Okay. okay. So I will ask you a question from PNC. Is that okay? I'm not very good at PNC. Okay. How much good, how much comfortable you are in PNC? Sometimes I overcount, undercount. That's the problem. I'm not pretty much confident about this and in the interview pressure i will surely miss that up i think so okay what about other topics any other topics that you are comfortable in graph drawing functions continuity or differentiability okay but these are very limited topics i think maths is huge like matrix determinant integration probability pnc binomial quadratic okay, number theory number theory okay so uh, number theory now my question is based on complex number nth root of unity and number theory both okay, okay. so you know how nth root of unities are plot on argand plane yeah i know so they are drawn like this one of the root is always one then you divide this circle in n parts so this is say alpha one this is alpha 2 and so on. Okay. Now the nth roots are 1 alpha alpha square and so on alpha n minus 1. Okay. Now you have to prove that if I take power m on all these roots alpha power m, alpha square power m, and alpha power n minus 1 power m, where m and n are co prime. Okay, 
तो हमको what we need to prove that prove these numbers represent represent one alpha alpha square and so on alpha power n minus one only in some order. Question clear? M is natural number, right? Sorry. M is natural number, right? N is natural number. M is also natural number. Okay. Okay. N is root of unity. So these are the roots, and we are raising all the roots by power m m m m. Okay. So these are also again n values. Yeah. Okay. Now I want you to prove that these numbers, after raising with power m, will be representing these numbers n, these n numbers only, but in some different order. Okay. ठीक है. Question clear? Okay. Okay, so what okay, is so going on? So in each case, the modulus of the complex number is one. So if I raise power, raise the power m. So if I multiply it with same, that what will happen? That the uh, argument will be just doubled. So still it will lie on a circle. So how will I mathematically prove this? I'm thinking about. So for uh, some alpha k, alpha to the power k, I'm assuming that is equal to cos k theta plus iota sine k theta. Then if I uh, raise to the power m on the both side, this is cos m k theta plus iota sine m k theta. And this lies on a unit circle. So is it enough? Okay, can we proceed that way that if I say that all one power m, alpha power m, alpha square power m and so on, they all are different. Okay. And if they are different, and because all of them has to be an root of unity. Okay. Okay. Then they will be representing one alpha power, alpha one, alpha two in some order. So can you please explain what it? I am saying that if you say if you prove that this these these n complex numbers are different, they represent different points on the argon plane. Okay. If I am able to prove that none of them are equal, okay? Okay. okay. Then and because their mod is always one, yeah. okay. And if I pick any one of them, like let us say alpha power r. Whole power m, one of them I have chosen like this, and if I raise it by n, I think it will be one. Yeah. That means every number out of these n is n a root of unity. Okay. If I can show this, then we are done. Okay. Yes. If we are able to prove that all of them are different, okay, okay. and every one of them is a n a root of unity. So that means they have to be among these n nth root of unities, which may not be in the same order, but they will be these n numbers only in some other order. Yeah. yeah. Okay. 